as a parent, you do anything to keep your kids healthy and happy, but there's really, it seems like there's some issues that are just tougher to navigate than others. Sometimes girls develop an obsession with their weight or appearance. A renowned doctor and author is coming to Omaha to talk about it at the end of this month. With our preview, Emily Young and Adriel Griffin of Completely Kids. Good morning nice to the two to of you. you. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Yes. Thank you for having um, We're excited to talk about this topic in, in the book here, but uh -huh. um, let's back up a little bit. What's your, what's your mission at Completely Kids? Sure. So Completely Kids exists to educate and empower kids and families to create safe, healthy, successful, and connected communities. And so we really are working with them in an after-school type setting. Um, academics, we're working with enrichment activities, doing some nutrition with them, really trying to empower them with those skills to be successful throughout life. Mm -hmm. the, the goal of the luncheon then, is it just meant to be a fundraiser or is the, the objective a little larger than that? Um, it, it is a fundraiser, mm -hmm. and um, the, the money that the, the, the author luncheon will make will go back to the agency so that they can um, um, ha help with the mission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I know the author that's coming in, um, Robin Silverman, Dr. Robin, Robin Silverman, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Uh, who is she? Can you explain a little bit more about her? She is an award-winning writer and um, a body image expert and a childhood expert. Um, and um, she is coming to talk about her book, uh, Good Girls Don't Get Fat. Mm -hmm. The, the title is going to get your attention, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, explain what's inside these pages and why you think it's a, an important message for Omahans to hear. There's, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, one of the things is that, you know, you look from the time that a child is born all the way throughout life, there's all these things hitting them. And mm -hmm. one of the things that she talks about is, they're their own first enemy. And then there's the intentional things, the unintentional things that parents do, that friends do, peers do, teachers do mm -hmm. as they're going through life. And then they're hearing it from media. They're hearing it in their sports teams. And so all these things are darting them throughout their life. And so we've got this, this obsession basically mm -hmm. with the way that especially females are supposed to look. And that's what's hitting our adolescents like from the time that they're born mm -hmm. all throughout their life. And so she really is wanting to, to flip that, that image and really talk about what a healthy body image is, no matter what size you are. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to put you on the spot, and I don't know how much of the, of the sure. book you've read or not, but do you have a specific example of something you know, we might be saying mm -hmm. that we don't really understand that maybe we shouldn't be saying that? Sure. Well, I think um, actually one of the things that Emily and I were talking about is she actually, Robin Silverman, just posted this picture of a baby onesie on her Facebook page that says, I hate my thighs. Mm. So think about a parent putting that on their child. It's sort of meant to be cutesy and whatever, you know, the baby chub, whatever. But how damaging is that even before they are like mm -hmm. subconsciously able to take that in. So you're starting that as a baby and then that carries all the way through. You know, it could be in family conversations, mm -hmm. joking about yeah. um, your sister's size or whatever it is. is it, will she have actionable advice for parents throughout that? Because I'm thinking about our viewers who this is sort of hitting a chord for them that would want to come to the luncheon and, and they would want to walk away with something valuable. Do you think she'll be sharing some of those lessons, some of that advice? Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, one of the things that she's been really awesome about is she's taking actual examples from girls in our program, some of the struggles that they mm -hmm. have, and she's going to work that into her presentation, and then she's going to make it very applicable for the audience who's there. Um, that's one thing that Completely Kids, we always want to, to do with mm -hmm. our author luncheon is to um, take an issue that our kids are facing and also make it applicable for the people who are attending the yeah. fundraiser. And you're talking about the people attending. Who do you think should attend? Is there still availability? Are you still looking for guests? Absolutely. I don't know if you want to talk about that a little bit, Emily. It's um, the, the event, the author luncheon is on March 31st, which mm -hmm. is on a Tuesday, and it's at the Hilton Omaha. Um, registration and seating starts at 1130 mm -hmm. and the luncheon and uh, Dr. Silverman um, at noon. I'm looking through the book and some of the, these breakout um, pieces of advice. Here mm -hmm. she says, your eight-year-old daughter looks in the mirror and says she doesn't think she looks pretty naked. And then she breaks down two things, what not to say, what to say. 
and then there's a chapter in here just for dads mm -hmm. and the, the different types of, of fathers, right? What maybe some dads would joke about it, um, some dads would be critical, some, some dads would just sort of ignore it. And so she, she breaks down the, the flaws in some of those approaches and then the better idea and it's all about helping girls thrive mm -hmm. instead of just helping them get over it but helping them thrive in the midst of it. What did it say? What was the answer? What should you not say oh. in the event if your daughter You wanted me to there? do that part of it? Well, I, I think it's interesting. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta go yeah, back. Okay. Um, go. What, I'll just say. So, so if your eight-year-old is looking in the mirror, right? Yes. What not like to say. Name. Don't be silly. Everyone is different. That's the what not to say. The what to say. I think you have a beautiful body that is going to take you places on the dance floor, on your bike, on the basketball court. Our bodies are amazing things, and when I look at you, I see a body that is going to open up a whole world of exciting possibilities. Mm. Yeah. Really great stuff in this book for parents of girls. Yep. Thank and you I both. I think, Mike, you had said who should come. Mm -hmm. I don't think you necessarily just have to be a, a father or mother of a girl. Mm -hmm. um, I think boys well, really... And can I? And I said that yep. too, but I'm thinking about it now. Second guessing, I feel like all parents yeah, sure. of daughters and sons yep. can learn something yep. from this book and from the luncheon on March 31st. Log well, on to completely kids. Yeah, out. anybody who who's around kids all the time. Maybe it's coaches. Maybe it's yeah, teachers. Yeah, exactly. You got it's it. So true. Completelykids.org. Thanks for your Thank time. You Thank, Thank you both. Thank you. I know. I'm like getting lost in this. <laughs> <laughs> Can one viewer increase his car's value before he sells it? The answer is next. And Wendell Brown, he's worked with the celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Cruise. At 934, some of the spring looks, he says, work for all men.